All right, we're going. We are going. Welcome to another episode of the Get Bombed Podcast on Brandon Crossland YouTube channel. Brandon Crossland here. Brian Phillips, Don Henley, <laughs> Wes Noodles, <laughs> and we've got Ryan Cole's blessing. Uh, even though one of the uh, a really huge uh, Formula One news from Interlagos and the Brazilian Grand Prix, but um, we're we're gonna try to make that make it through that without him. But we've got the last Ford Champion Week to talk about. And uh, three races from that, and we've got um, someone here amongst us who spent the entire week there as a, a media intern. Is that right? A lot of. Uh, I'll get into what I did later on. Just to, yeah, yeah. Well, he's got the part, hat. Part of it was media intern. Yeah, and so he uh, said hello to a lot of a lot of guys for us, and. Um, uh, kind of, kind of our eyes and ears through his uh, Snapchat story and stuff. So we, we appreciate that that stuff. Um, yeah, kind of empty without Ryan here. It sucks, but we'll we'll make it through. Uh, so you guys want to start with the truck series? Yeah. Matt so, Crafton, yeah. underdog winner, three time champ. No wins. Yeah. No wins. No wins. <laughs> I'm happy for Matt. I'm happy for him. He he's a good guy. Yeah, did exactly what he had to do under those yeah. circumstances. You yeah, know, he, can't he deny the system. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nothing wrong with playing by the rules, right? Yeah, I exactly. mean, yeah, it didn't break the rules. No, no. Well, the rules do. are the best rules. Is a different sto- story. So yeah, he did it. I was afraid I made Brian angry when we started talking about that on well, Friday. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I, was, I was a darn more, flipping yeah. minute. I, I was frustrated throughout throughout the weekend with a lot of like uh, what I was seeing, <laughs> not just from you guys, but just from everyone. I was I opened uh, on, on Reddit on on Twitter. It was like uh, it did, you know, it didn't help that all of Twitter was just it was throwing same, negative yeah. all over the place. Twitter yeah, but, just being Twitter, Brian. Don't let that get to you. That's the thing. Like, I never let it get to me. But, but like, the, since it's I'm like home for, since it's homestead I weekend, kinda, I'm like, you know what? Man, I kind of, I know, I kind of put salt on the wound. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not bad enough that Twitter is just being itself. But then I'm just. I usually never let it get to me, and and, and, to me. and this weekend I let it get to me. Just again, it it was the same. Like people were people were coming up, and and this is true. And like the, the way from from what I, I've seen this, everyone was saying. Guys, for the first time ever, no one had thought of this or mentioned it before, but there's a flaw in the system. I'm like, no, we've been talking about this for years. Uh, well, and, I, and, and, and eventually they start getting to the point, no, actually, like, like they were trying to figure out what, what this was. I, I felt like I was so far ahead of the conversation that it was, I was, it was taking forever yeah. for, for them to, everyone to catch up. It was, I it's that kind of thing. Position. It just got me annoying. I think the point I was trying to make is yeah, that... And again, it wasn't just you. It was just it was I know. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I so like, in our, in the fun. conversation, though, the point I was trying... I'm just letting everybody else know. The point I was trying to make is that uh, this is another really good opportunity for NASCAR to see, hey, red flag, mm-hmm. somebody who didn't win a race all year just won the championship. You know, yeah. it has happened before. We said yeah. that, you know, happened uh, with Austin Dillon. 2013. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. Like, uh, do, you, just, do, do you guys think maybe the truck series should, like, drop down to, instead of four guys in the final, four? It should be maybe two? No. It's just two. Yeah, no, yeah like, even worse. the head duel. Yeah, yeah, that might be worse. And just make it a drag race. <laughs> no. well, well, because, like, you already start off with four guys, and then you eliminate two each round i mean it, then it gets a little cluttered with four and you have somebody like matt crafton sneaking in and winning yeah, just put them on a quarter mile strip and let them have at it <laughs> yeah don't do that <laughs> <laughs> um ryan said earlier uh after friday that when he was just talking about the truck series in general this year it's like he, it kind of came down he said it kind of kind of came down to who sucked the least yeah if i can quoting that yeah. right <laughs> Everyone seemed to have 
like bad weeks. Like, yeah. You can usually count on like a Gibbs car not having bad weeks. They just like either mediocre or they do all right. And everyone seemed to just kind of mess up just enough to where it was equally low. Or not cool. low, but yeah, equally. Everyone equally sucked. So Matt I'm, Kraft and I'm, Ross. I'm, oh, go ahead. I'm dis. I'm disappointed in uh, Brent Moffitt. I thought I, I really thought it was going to be obvious that he was going to be the winner. I, yeah. I, like if he would have, I, th- I thought, yeah, I thought he was the favorite. Yeah, I, I was hoping Ross. Yeah, I was hoping Ross Chastain was going to be like the sentimental, sentimental favorite, and <laughs> I thought Friesen, Friesen would be like the dark horse, and then Crafts would just be like, "There's no way." Out but yeah. I feel like everybody yeah. and their mother wanted Ross Chastain. Yeah, yeah. I was at my buddy's house, and they're big yeah. Ross Chastain fans. And mm-hmm. his little brother was at Iowa when they were all at Iowa, I guess. But he he ran up to Ross Chastain. He had a piece of the watermelon, and Ross <laughs> signed the watermelon. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> there was okay. Um, I'm gonna because there was so much going on this weekend. I'm hoping this wasn't from you guys, but someone told me that in Daytona, when he won the uh, Xfinity, when Ross Chastain won the Xfinity race and bit into the to the uh, watermelon and spit it out. It was only because that watermelon that watermelon was like dried or, or just rotten for like day for it's been days since anyone since like it was beyond the expiration of, or whatever. Oh, and that that was hilarious. Oh, he knew I, instantly. Yeah, I um gross. I felt I felt kind of bad in the, in uh, Daytona. Like I, I was trying to be like all sympathetic to him, and be like, "Hey, man, sorry about the DC store, solar thing." And this is like back in February, and, and by that time I'd realized that it's been months since that happened and he had gone over it and the more and the oh, and you're like, oh, he's like thanks for bringing that up again. yeah yeah and, and, that's, <laughs> and that's the exact like tone of, tone of voice he's like he's, he's like oh it's okay man don't worry about it oh so, the kind of tone of voice he, he was like he was giving me and I'm like oh no I kind of feel bad I kind of open a wound <laughs> yeah so I, I, I learned I learned a little bit more there it's like not open up old past wounds and just he say hey go, that morning was like you know what I think I've finally gotten over the DC <laughs> Because like by that time he'd like gotten <laughs> he, he'd gotten the ride with like colleague racing, and I think he wanted to more talk about that and be like, "Hey, That's look cool. what I have now, and not look what it had before, and not look like, not look what happened in the past." Yeah. yeah. Um. Didn't Ross Chastain uh, commit himself to the Truck Series Championship around uh, the Iowa race? Yeah. Yep. And yep. yeah, it was a few weeks before and, it. And the I yeah, and the Iowa race was uh the one in particular that he thought he won. He still thinks that he won that one, but they, NASCAR they, penalized him. They got a banner hanging out, hanging in their uh, shop of the Iowa win. Actually, that's cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of an unofficial official win. Yeah, it's kind of weird too. Uh, so Austin Hill won the truck race. So that and um, yeah. shout out to uh, my friend uh, Dalen Barr. He's one of the photographers mm-hmm. that I made that I made friends with. He um, works with with uh, Shiggy or Tori in the that sends out the pictures to, to Japan and, and I thought that was pretty cool to see him win an, another race. Okay, yeah. I got to see him yeah, I got to see him win a race in Daytona with an Austin Hill won in Daytona. And he was my ride back to my car. So we waited like two hours for him to get to get done with his uh, work. And the second he got back to his car he opened up a beer and chuck and chuck like the whole thing. <laughs> and it was the coolest and then thing you got to in see the car like, with him? Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I, per, not personally, I, I'm not. Yeah, I put a lot of trust into my, into the friends that I make. So, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm happy for him, and I'm happy for Austin Hill. His uh, paint scheme is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's funny his last name is Hill because he kind of looks like Bobby from King <laughs> of the Hill. <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that's, been, that's been the meme ever <laughs> since oh. he's gotten into the truck series. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby! <laughs> Why are you out there and drive a truck? <laughs> you know, I mean, once you know it, you can't unsee it, and that's all I'm gonna yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, great, great driver, and uh, so who you get, so uh, I guess off season topics. We can talk about who are the favorites for next next season. That we we'll talk about that on the off season at some point. Well, sure. Ross Chastain's going yeah. full time Xfinity with colleague, so yeah. Hmm. Do you want to move on to uh, Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good choice. Saturday you, comes you, next. So, Brandon, you said it earlier, and I didn't, and I didn't, and I, when I saw the message, I really did not want to believe it. I really didn't, but you were right. Saturday was the best racing by far, by That's far, so by far. 
Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I w- I saw um Ford versus Ferrari that night. So. Oh. oh cool. How was it? Was it, what? it was was awesome. her- I heard it was kind of a letdown. Yeah, um, I heard that I went too. In with really high expectations. Mhm. So I want to tone below that. But like yeah. I don't know, my mom and everyone else I was with liked it, but Have you seen a uh, Rush? Rush? No. I have not seen the F1? Rush. No, you're right. Another motorsport movie. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, for me, oh, uh, Rush and cool. Talent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I don't think I've seen all of Rush, but I've okay. seen some of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for me, Talladega Nights and Rush are like the highest motorsport <laughs> movies up there for me. Talladega Nights. Yeah. Talladega Nights. A comedy. <laughs> it's just a classic. It's the greatest. So, yeah. so Reddick versus Custer. Yeah. Xfinity. We're going to Xfinity now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's do a switch then. Uh. Yeah. Xfinity. Tyler Reddick back to back champion. Thoughts. He drove his ass off. Indeed. I'll just say that he just drove his ass off. He's. Hard, hard nosed racer. My my thought one is on him is what is he going to do next season? I, I, like in an RCR car, which kind of sucks. Not as much as we, th- uh, not as much as everybody thinks he's no, going that's, to. That's the thing. I think he might do more than people think because, like, because I, I, I feel like the popular opinion is that he's going to suck in the RCR car. But I feel like he's such a good driver that I'm. Thinking and he's he might... bringing his crew chief with him and his whole team. Yeah, yeah, his whole, entire whole team, team. team. So. That's that's a big plus. I think William Byron did that. No, when he came to Hendrick, he just took Kane. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he took Kane. No, did he take uh, Jack and Nance? <laughs> no, not yet. That was that, that, was, was, yeah. that was the next year. <laughs> yeah, that was the next year. <laughs> oh, I wanted to touch on something in the truck series real quick. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't know that. Okay, with Fox Sports, uh, Hermie Sadler today announced that oh, he yeah. will be back. Uh, next year. Oh yeah, on the uh, Fox. But um, he's grateful for everybody who sent, you know, uh, best wishes and stuff. And he's got a yeah, daughter, he... and looking forward to enjoying retirement. I'm sure. I've talked to him a few times. He's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's I, really I, I'll, I'm gonna miss hearing him say pit road. <laughs> <laughs> that Virginia next time when he's out on pit road. <laughs> I hope that we like see him still in the sport at, at like some point, like yeah, either at, at like a small track in Virginia or something like that. I hope he like he's still like a face. I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll hang around South Boston or somewhere like that all the time still. When he yeah. Uh, but yeah, back to Xfinity. Tyler Reddick um, might exceed expectations in a Cup car, may not. Um, so what are his expectations? Because like I, don't I know think if my knows, expectations yeah. for him is to win once. Oh so wow! Really, Ooh, I don't wow! I didn't that. expect that. I mean, it'd be cool for him too. He finished ninth at Kansas. I, th- the I think the question race. is play. The question is playoffs. No, no. no. Well, it'll, be, it'll be it'll be a sure out if he wins. It'll be a sure out in round sixteen. I mean, I mean, no. I mean, like if he even gets in the playoffs, I'm not even sure if he will get in the playoffs. I, I was que- that was what I was questioning. I, my expectation is he's going to win a fluke race. I think I just, my expectation to is a top five at a plate race. Okay, so the whole the, the reason I'm saying this is because he's like the he, he's I don't want to say the next Kyle Larson, but uh, but I'm saying that in the sense that he can he can run the wall. He knows how to do that. He's they good at it too. To Kale Yarborough Saturday <laughs> night and comic. Kamikaze wow. Games was like, screw off. NBC. <laughs> How dare you compare this trash to oh, man. Oh, bro. He doesn't like Tyler Reddick, to say the least. Uh, Reddick can get a lot out of his car. That's what I like about him. Yeah, he, can, he, he can find speed out of nothing. That's what Kyle Petty says a lot about him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say this. He, oh, no. <laughs> he gets the effort out of whatever car he's driving. Let me tell you something. Let me take it. So I felt like all guy was going to be. Uh, he was the guy I wanted to win, of course. But I felt like he was. He was definitely yeah, the underdog, and he yeah. turned out about about like how I 
thought he would. I wish he wouldn't have hit the wall because he kind of should have known he wasn't going to go up there and just win. So yeah. why push it? Like, at least finish really the race. Disappointed he didn't have a stronger finish. Yeah, and then uh, Bell, I w- that that was what I, yeah. that was exactly what I was expecting yeah. Bell, to, to to choke and mess up. That, yeah, uh, Christopher Bell leaving the Xfinity Series without a championship, and he's just like the prodigy child of the Xfinity Series as I've known it the past few years. Like he's just he's been one, great. He's yeah, he's awesome. He just wins. All the time. It's like every time I look at the TV for yeah. Xfinity Series, it's like Christopher Bell. He's leading, yeah. <laughs> He's either leading or winning. He led over 2,000 laps this year. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just phenomenal yeah. driver. And like my my mom was like, how old is he? And we looked it up. <laughs> 24. Yeah, he's actually really old. For like this, yeah. for this age, he's, yep. he's really old. Definitely. And she was like, oh my goodness, he's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a baby, but he's 24. Like he's old. Really? He's 24. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I, he's 25 in a month. I would con- <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he go when he goes to Cup, I would consider some facial hair maybe before Daytona, if he can grow <laughs> if it. He can grow it. That may be I the case. He was like 19, 20. Yeah. I yeah. A lot of people think that. Yeah. But see, Cole Custer is like 21. Yeah. Cole That's Custer. hard to believe. And he grows a mustache. That boy <laughs> grows a mustache. I like Cole Custer. <laughs> I do too. Yeah, I do too. And I'll tell you why. We could have a good he reminds fight. he reminds me of like somebody from the seventies. <laughs> somebody you'd read in the NASCAR history books. Like just the yes. personality, he's, the way he's he just like and the name too. The Cole, standard of Cole Custer like good old is good name. Yeah. Yeah. He's just good old boy NASCAR driver. I really yeah, like I'm liking him. I think it's yeah. in the name too, a Cole Custer. Cole Custer. And a I'm double glad, zero. I'm very glad he's got a cup ride. Yeah. The double zero kind of looks like a buckshot Jones, you know? I really wish they would take the double zero into the cup series. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm a mad shame. that it, I'm yeah, mad that they do. Can, I, can yeah. they just buy that number from Starcom and give Starcom? Um, yeah, very bad. Or at least put it, give him like the zero or something, not just yeah. the 41 count. Oh, we need a zero back. Yeah. What was that? What? I, I, I still see. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, Jack Sprague in like the net zero car, yeah, from, like 2005. Oh, that's also drove that. Ward Burton, yeah, Nick Bliss. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ward Burton, Ward Burton drove it. <laughs> but let's see, so there's my- a re- there was a reason to have a zero car because it was net zero, kind of made yeah, yeah. It was marketing. Mm-hmm. So, my favorite part of the race was seeing how the ending was setting up the big three, it was Bell. Uh, Reddick and Custer, and uh, we knew that Bell was the worst out of the three at Homestead, and Reddick was probably the best, but Custer had what looked like the better car, and we still had like a whole pit stop to go, and they were kind of yeah. all running the top line, and we were all, and I, I remember everyone on Pit Road, we were just staring at the screen, and it's like, it was crazy to watch how close they were getting to the wall, and I was frustrated, like, that Reddick couldn't get by Bell, but the like, Custer was coming too, and it was, was some great fun. Yeah, I, I called it that night, I was like, Enjoy. I'm glad we can enjoy this Xfinity race because this is probably the best race we're going to see all weekend for the championship. Yeah. For any for the all three of the championships combined, they were like uh, one of the best shots they got was when uh, three of the championship contenders were three wide on the front stretch. Oh yeah, yeah. going into turn one. Just and like they were even like battling for position off of off the pit exit. Yeah. So uh, and Homestead Miami is. Notorious for having his long pit pit entrances and pit, pit exits, like just, just like yeah. Indianapolis, and it was just so cool. Like, did each, they show that on the broadcast? Because I haven't said, I haven't seen yeah, it they yet. showed that. They, they showed it of yeah. them exiting. Yeah, I, can't, I can't wait to watch that because that, that was that yeah. was one of the favorite parts of the race. Like Custer and, and Red, one of those two drivers, but like, it, you think that kind of thing would be illegal? Like, he can't pass for position on like the pit exit apron before you get out back on the track but you, you could tell like they it, it kind of felt like uh, a scene in days of thunder where they're like challenging each, they're looking at each other and challenging each other down the the hospital hallway oh. the chair. <laughs> thing that robert wickens did on his uh social media previously like I saw, uh, looking at that, i'll get off that movie first last first. weekend yeah Back in 2012, I saw Truex and Kyle Busch do the same thing at the access road. They were racing each other off pretty hard. 
and they're like bumping each other and everything, and it was pretty cool. That was for the lead, but uh, I think uh, Jeff Gordon won that race later on that night for like fuel mileage or something like that. But that was, again, um, and, and then later on in the race, it was, then it was just Custer versus Reddick, and the sunset was in the background, and that yeah. just made the ch- the race look even better. Sunsets, yeah, of course, because you're right next to the ocean, but uh, yeah, and also yeah. it was just flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Matt, Matt Weaver pointed out at one part of the weekend that he's just fascinated with the fact that it's the southernmost track in the continental United States. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Like it's just, it's right there next to the water, you know. Yeah. I, I do kind of wish we could see the water a little bit closer. Like, you can't see the water from, like, the top of the roof. But it's very far. Like, like you need binoculars, and I wish it was just a little bit closer. Kind of like um, Zand- I think a Zandvoort is pretty. Cl- is like right on the water for the F1 yeah. track. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wish it was that close, just so we can have, so we can have that. I feel like that that'd make the track even better if the water was just right there. But then again, we get a lot of problems with like weather and stuff, and and like the breeze, and that affects a lot of things. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So the last thing I want to talk about with Xfinity is going to transition over to Cup. The rookie battle for 2020 is one of the best. It's it's shaping up to be one of the best rookie battles we've seen. Gosh, I don't know. Probably since like Newman Johnson four 2005 2006. Yeah, when like when when Kyle Busch came in and Brian Vickers and that that era. Yeah, Hamlin. Yeah, or 2017 Blaney Elliott. Oh yeah. Um, that was more recent, I guess. Yeah, I, I, and also I don't know if that was as competitive for the rookie title. I don't know. That was 2016, I think. Oh yeah, 2016. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interest, interesting to see Christopher Bell with the 95, yeah, with more technical support from Joe Gibbs yeah. and Cole Custer in the 41 or double zero. We don't know yet, but 41. That's yeah. and uh, yeah, and Tyler Reddick and that eight Caterpillar and a thousand other sponsors because they can't keep one sponsor <laughs> the entire season. Uh, <laughs> and Richard Childress's fifty-first year of business. <laughs> I'm uh, glad they got some sort of success in the fiftieth year. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, there was some parity in the championships. We had a Ford champion, got yeah, a Chevy. Chevrolet champion, and they got a Toyota champion. Yeah, you know, that's true. All, I didn't all, all think that. And right. three different teams, so nobody hogged it. And Richard Childress got a championship. You know, that doesn't happen too often. And so, you know, yeah. get, get him where you can get him. Yeah. That moves us on to the Cup Series. Actually, there's there's one thing I want to say okay. about the Xfinity. Um, shout yeah. out, to, shout out to Chase Briscoe for winning Rookie yeah. of the Year. I thought he had a great year. And oh I yeah. Hope- I hope he get he gets a ride next year too. Road course master. Road if they don't get him master. back in the '98, that's a huge mistake out of them. Oh yeah, Stuart Haas. That's wait, uh, well, yeah. whoops, never mind. I had the wrong driver in my head. Chase Briscoe. Briscoe. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. I was thinking of uh, Austin, Austin Cindric. Yeah, I'm stupid. I was I'm gonna sorry. say. I remember Austin Cindric being the road <laughs> course master. Yeah, yeah. That that was a brain fart on my end, but yeah. That yeah, I like to see the '98. Uh, so, cup side. Kyle Busch. Kyle yeah. Busch. Rowdy Nation strikes again. Well, and, ruins the weekend. And the world has turned evil. <laughs> no, no. See, see that that's not that, that's not the attitude to have, Brian. Come on, can't be all doom and gloom. It, it, it is. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing with Kyle. It is all doom and gloom. I'll it's, say that. I, 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 I don't want it to be all doom and gloom, but it is. I don't. I don't, I don't want to admit this stuff, but it, I, I can't. I can't deny it. It's something I can fight against. I'll say it's just true. It's yep. exactly well, as I expected the race to go. Yeah, just that, down to the wire. Point. If I just pictured the race happening, that's that was how it was going to go. It's it's just like they were knocked out one by one, and yeah. it just left Kyle Bush to like well. Let me just cruise. Yeah, I didn't sure. expect that because I thought the I thought the other four would be some sort of the other three would be some sort of competent, but I guess it's too much to ask for. Just because yeah. of the way the playoffs were, I, I didn't think Kyle would be them. I, I thought he was like the le- like the least 
uh, uh, the, uh, what, what do you want to call it? The underdog? Uh, yeah, I don't want to see underdog because it's Kyle, but I mean, yeah, yeah, he was like the least, yeah, the, the underdog of the race. I thought at least, but hmm. well, we, we, were, we were warned you can never count Kyle Bush out of anything, I know. <laughs> no, no matter how I'm long it's been. And I wanted to deny that so hard, but it, it yeah. came bit me in the foot. But but the, the the other competitors in the four, they just fell out by the weirdest circumstances. Kevin Harvick just fell back; didn't really have anything weird happen, but. Martin Truex Jr. Well, and Danny Hamlin, yeah, both both, both things that happened to them were crew yeah. caused. Martin Truex Jr. like what? the front tires on the back and the back on the front. Are you kidding me? That's so weird. I thought they just said the front tires switched. Oh well, it's just the front tires that got switched. Okay, some combination. I might, I might be wrong. I thought I thought they had the fronts on the oh, back and the back from the fronts. I, I thought it was left and right. It was left uh, and right. They, like... they were switched. That's all we got. Yeah, that's all it yeah, they, they really messed up and they were switched. Location. It was the yeah, championship yeah, finale. Yeah, yeah. that's all that matters. They paid yeah. their job and they messed and you're up. Freaking Joe Gibbs, <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> with the we're not um, beard motorsports here, you know. Or, um... So what was with um, Harvick? Because I, I saw him stay out, and I thought he was going to do the fuel thing, and I and I thought that kind of made sense because he wasn't going to be able to catch Kyle. I got that, and I thought he, and I, I thought it was a fuel mileage thing, and, and it turns out that everyone can make it, and that just killed any hope that I had. He was waiting for a caution. That's what That's, he was I, I was yeah. really hoping yeah. they were going to just wait he for He tried caution. to tell um, his spotter with a few uh, like Beatable. thirty laps to go. He's like, I swear, there's a Piece of debris in turn two. Why aren't they throwing the yellow? <laughs> of course, <laughs> trying to get everything he can out of. Let her. me know. I want to throw something out there. But seriously, though, props <laughs> to NASCAR for not doing that. <laughs> for not. I don't say props to that. They would have got ripped a new one if they threw a caution. I would they not. Would. I would have cheered for that. I'm so would I. Like I most too. of us. Only because you're biased, I, but I, 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 I am don't... too. But I also want fairness to play out. So I think it was a fair. Kyle deserved was, the championship, but but there was a yeah. funny. Hey, there! I did tweet about a funny caution with Matt. Uh, not Matt Tip, sorry. Oh. John, John, yeah, John John Hunter Nemechek <laughs> from thirty six. I really think now, uh, whenever Truex had that fumble, I think I really feel like somebody yeah. from that car st- stuck in John Hunter's crew chief's ear, which relayed to him. There's a ten, like something along the lines of there's a ten thousand dollar bonus. If you, do bonus, a little, buddy. if you do a little squiggly right now, <laughs> if your arm you're, starts to itch. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 not going to win this race anyway. We all know that. So, yeah, do a little squiggly. Don't cause a wreck with anybody else, I and we'll throw yellow. That. Because he just got loose and slid, right? He didn't. Yeah, yeah didn't but need a I believe it was. I it believe wasn't it was, a three sixty. No, I really want to think it was self induced because imagine. If you're NBC and you are promoting these four drivers for months, or well, not months, for the you know the past week, basically months, two, we knew basically, yeah, months. yeah, the playoffs take forever. And so you got this entire Martin Truex Jr. fan base that's only tuning into Homestead for their driver, and if their driver's out for the count for sure, who knows? That could be like a quarter of your audience right there. That's a good way to put it. And so. They don't like they, the NBC doesn't want to put themselves in that position to take a ratings dive, and so they got to do something. I think NASCAR would be on board with that. I think it's yeah, very whether, whether, strange whether, whether we want to admit it or not. <laughs> I think it's very strange that you say earlier how you don't want to see a phantom caution for a debris, and then yet you accuse them of trying to talk to John Hunter and even check to spin. I think that's pretty. I don't. I, I, I don't see I don't how. Want to see it. I don't know. I'm I'm a, Oh. Listen, listen. Yeah, I never want to see it, whether I like the driver or not. I don't want to see it. I want to see a fair game pl- being played. I'm just saying, I'm afraid that that that's what that, happened. That reality might be tossed around it might sometime. Be a little corruption and money floating yeah. around this racing business. Mm-hmm. Of know, course, who would have ever thought that? <laughs> if this would have happened in stage three, I would be a little more hesitant. Yeah, yeah. It's but... just that. I just it don't didn't seem like it was yeah. caution worthy. You 
Poop. No, it yeah. Wasn't. If he hit the wall, maybe I could see it. But he just I, got loose. They, and, and they had the camera ready for it. Yeah, they, the they had the camera, camera ready shot. for it. It was they were ready for it. And I was like, "Don't you dare throw our caution call!" Oh, the caution comes out. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> Come on, NASCAR. Yeah. But, you know, I I'm not on board with this because. <laughs> As, I understand. Let me explain. No, no, no. Let, let me explain. Let me explain my point now. I heard you guys. Let me explain my point. Sure. If you look at the results and how absolutely no one with good taste actually liked this race, <laughs> I feel like if we had cautions in it, it would have made it better. I want NASCAR to give us a good show. I don't mind if it's if they threw throw a caution here and there and affect the race. Be, as long as it turns out to be a good show. I'm fine with it. Uh, they don't have to make the fair call every time. Yeah. As long as uh, as the call, as long as by the end of the day, we're all happy with the race as um, as, as an exciting standpoint. I'm okay. I'm with sorry, it. man, but that that's what changes NASCAR I, to something like WWE. Yeah. That's the, the defining the, moment. Yeah. Competition. If we're putting. I'm not saying competition. Right. Cautions, we're putting the saying, let's show and spectacle ahead of the competition. That's the defining line. That's yeah. where I draw the line in the sand. The the result of the ra- the result is that we had a, a really crappy race. It wasn't good. Uh, no, no, it wasn't good. We didn't have any action in it, and we don't really have much to talk about. Yeah, like, but I don't think making up cautions is the way to do that to make it better. I'm but, not saying that. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying we're, we're making a. Imagine if all four of the of the championship four wrecked out turn one, lap one. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that would be we, so we'd have to go the whole race. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. If we saw, if we saw, us, we and we had all quiet, that's what would happen in the booth. Like no one. Yeah. Just, like, and we would jaws would drop. drop. I'll, I'll yeah. be freaking yeah. out about yeah. that because if we saw, if we all four of those teams start scrambling, and not just the four teams, but their teammates too, all start going into each other's pit boxes and trying to fix these cars. Throughout the throughout the rest of the night, just to see who can finish better, like they can all be like a hundred laps down. What if they're but, all totaled? That and, would like, I, I would still be a very, very, a pretty big fan of that. Don't do the finale at Talladega. Yeah, no, and that's why. Never and that's it. why the playoffs, the final four race, the championship signing race should not be on a rotation. That's fair. Well, well, maybe it can be on a rotation, but it shouldn't be on a rotation at restrictor plates. Yeah, yeah I agree. I want to see Daytona and Talladega. That oh, is an outright yeah. spectacle. I want to see Daytona as the finale one year. I want that would be no. really, pretty cool. That would be really, really cool if we can see that. I, I, I know. Again, this is just me not caring about want, fairness, but caring about the action my, and the excitement I point. Want I want, the it'd champ- be exciting. I don't want the champions of the sport determined by a roll of it, put on, it, it put on a better show. I think that's stupid, in my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's all I got to say. <laughs> I think that is an insult they to those the championship for us. Bristol, <laughs> Bristol I mean, Bay should determine everything. That's a pretty good one. They should just go there like every other week. <laughs> Weekly Saturday night races at Bristol. <laughs> every Saturday night. You were so at the Kentucky. Night. Man. I was. That's oh, a good race. My first ever Bristol night race. I got to see Matty D nearly win. Almost it. win. I love it. Man. Almost and then that not win. Was the final fifth. Oh, that was God. the finish. Guys, holy crap. Um, so, one, one story. I was talking to one of these fans just in, in a crowd and driver intros. You know how like they walk across the front stretch and then go like back on track and get into the trucks? Yeah. One of the people in the crowd, this lady, comes up to me. Hey, <laughs> I need to know when you guys are going to move so I can get to my seats. And I also need to know where my seats are. I'm like, okay, let me help you out. Look, where are your seats and whatnot? And I look at your ticket and I tell her where they are. She's like, okay, oh, cool, thanks. I'm one of the driver's mo- mothers. It's, just, it's not a big deal or anything, but I just want, hope you guys have a great race. I'm like, oh, cool. I, I thought she was like one of the like maybe truck or extraneous driver. No. Matt Barrettel's mom was talking to me. <laughs> the what? Oh, cool. What? what? Nice. <laughs> she casually says, "Oh, uh, Matt Tabato. I don't know if you heard that name or not." I'm like, "I, I care." Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. So I look her in the face. She, she gives she gives me this weird look, and I say, "Turn like," and, and I point to her um hard card. I'm like, "Turn that around. Let me see." And it says her name and then her last name, Tabato. I'm like, "Wow." 
That's great. <laughs> and you look at her like a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. That was, it was hilarious. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Um... That's kind of like the situation I, I had with Connor Daly's mom on Indy 500 Day. And she was like telling us who she was. And she was like jumping up there in the stands. I met her <laughs> at the McLaren booth with um, Connor Daly's brother. Because I was hanging out with one of the guys from the program who is friends with Connor Daly's brother. Stepbrother. She like, the year it was weird. I don't know. It was awkward because it was like a mother son moment that I was kind of like just just watching. Watching <laughs> I had to be there. Yeah. The year a, lot of, a lot of things happened at the McLaren tent. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's, that's true. Central meetup. The uh, 2018 Indy 500 that that weekend. That was the year before you guys were there. Um, Connor Daly's brother came up to the ticket booth and was talking to some guy. It's one of my friends actually. And this guy had no interest in motorsports or any car, and he was telling me a story about how much how much of a jerk he was to Connor Daly's brother, and it just turned me off to that guy so much because I hated what? like how he treated him. And, and I saw Connor Daly's brother later on. I just talked to him like not at that moment, but I just tried to make his like day better. Carter, that's his name, Carter. Carter, okay. Carter Bowles. Huh. Uh, Bowles, yeah. 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 Speaking of which, I got um Doug Bowles' phone number. Really. Wow! Yeah. Do it. So, he, yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Drink all. <laughs> so Remember, he, he it's went, Star Sixty One, so... and then you put the number in. Oh, it's Star Six Seven over here. <laughs> oh yeah, Star Sixty Seven. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> On a Twitter, I saw that he was coming down here. I said, "Hey, um, I'm wearing a red vest. Come visit me." On pit road, he said, "Sure." Really? And yeah, sun- and I think uh, Sunday morning, no Saturday morning, uh, during like extremely qualifying, I was. Keeping fans back and whatnot, and I heard some guy say, "Hey, bud," and just look around for who we were saying. And right, and right in front of me, and just, and just right where my laptop is in front of me, I just look look towards this guy's chest and then look up, and it's and it's Doug Bowles. He's not wearing a suit or anything, but I recognize him immediately. Oh, he was not wearing a suit. He was not wearing. He was wearing. He, what? he was wearing a T-shirt, and it's like an, an IMS like Indianapolis Motor Speedway T-shirt. Like, okay. so he, even when he's not wearing a suit, he's still representing INS. And I think that's the coolest right. thing ever. Yeah. We're no, talking no one night. Here. No fancy gear. But yeah, we talked about that for a no while. Gear. <laughs> yeah, and we got to talking in the one night. He just gave me his phone number, and I texted him a few times. He texted back, and that was one of the best parts of the weekend. That's he, moved so out cool. of a, he moved out of his office in a Penske truck rental. Collect <laughs> 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 your things. You're done. He didn't get fired, did he? No, no, I'm making it. No, up. he's okay. still there. Yeah. He's still there. Yeah, no, no, awful. no, 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 no. <laughs> he's what I wish. I, I'm he's sorry. What I wish Eddie Gossage was. Good point. Yeah, that is true. Like, so. it, like as good as Eddie Gossage is, is at promoting, I wish he would. I wish Doug Bowles and Eddie Gossage were like the same. Like. Making what would make one come to push? He's in um, Texas. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well, let's get let's get back to Kyle Busch. Uh, I'd rather not. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. rather not. I know you'd rather not. But let, let like, what do we think he's capable of for the rest of his career? Because like apparently, like he's not really in his prime yet. That's a terrifying thought. I know. Because yeah. most five hundred. The meat, yeah. The meat, the mean uh, average for the mean and average are the same thing. The average <laughs> age for cup drivers prime is like thirty eight, apparently. I don't know if I really trust. I mean, like, from I, I don't feel like we've seen enough to know for sure who's and what. I think he's I, I, I'm hoping he's past his prime. I'm really hoping he's, pa- he's passing his prime. I think but what, what scares me, what scares me even more is that um. Prime? No, he he is not me. He is uh, what? You what? think you think he is passing his prime? Yeah. Oh, definitely. But but a, a long time ago. Um, I'm thinking he. I'm what? Think, I'm he hoping just won he, a uh, again, You think he's passing his prime? No, I'm saying, I think he, I, he's. I think he's passing it where he's in his prime now. Is what I'm is what I'm saying. But okay. again, again, what scares me is that he says that he hates the again. He hates everything that he. But he says that he hates this car and this package. So. I want to, I'm terrified to see what was going to happen when he is in a car that he likes. Oh, you mean like he's going to win more? You don't want to see that. 
Well, of course, but no, I'm, oh, again, I'm, I'm saying that if he's if he ever is in a car again, it's impossible to ever happen. If he's ever not going to complain about something and be in a car that he enjoys and can like support, I, like I'm terrified to think about how good he'd he'd be. I think he's going to fall in love with this GT3 car at Daytona. I think so. Yeah, I think he's going to want to do more. Hmm. I think. I think that 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 kind of racing so you, you, suit you, his style a little more. If he moves to another sport, I'd be so much happier. <laughs> I'd be it so much say happier. A lot about the state of NASCAR if he switched. Series. I don't think it would. I just think it'd say a lot about Kyle. What would it say know. about him? It'd say he he has other things to do. I just again <laughs> get out as long as he, as he gets out of the sport. I'd be so it much happier. Oh he gosh. has enough money that he can do whatever makes him happy, and NASCAR doesn't make him happy. I think it would be detrimental to to NASCAR if he. I he, he doubt would that. Fine, detrimental to sport of stock car racing. <laughs> I'm just. I think it's fine. Would be fine. fine without him. I think it was fine before he was here. I think it'd be fine long after. Uh, to be honest, I don't think anyone in in the sport of NASCAR really. Uh, if if we uh, if we lost any of them, I think we'd be okay. There's not one driver that would be like, oh, if we lose Na- if we lose him, then he's gone for then NASCAR is 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 gone forever. No, I don't think so. I don't, okay. I don't think it would like cease to exist, but yeah. it would, I, I feel be, like a lot of people I'm just are saying, saying it would that. be a big blow if somebody like as big as a celebrity as Kyle Busch in our sport moved. Two time champion. Yeah. When the two time oh, champion left. Sound. It's oh, always man. good to have a villain, though, you know? That's what I was saying last night. I'm okay it's with the villain. I'm just not okay with that guy. Ryan, I'm right there with you. As frustrated as I am as a fan, I, I got to look at it from the neutral perspective and like, what does it mean to our sport to have a bad, if he's, if somebody's got to be the bad guy, somebody's yeah. got to be the guy that gets booed every time and like thrive off it. From what I've seen, we have so much hatred towards so many other drivers that I feel like we'd still get a villain. Again, I, I totally agree with you. The one good thing I can say about Kyle Busch is that we need him as a yeah. villain. That's one. That's the I, only I, ever good thing I could ever say I, about him. I've grown yep. to love to hate him. Is Gary Smith I, I have a too. villain yet? No. Yes. <laughs> Gary Smith Gary's Smith's a good guy. Gary Smith really is nice a good guy. But is he a villain on the track? He's a weapon on the track. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he is. <laughs> He's a ballistic missile. <laughs> Never won a late model. He had an FIU car. It was, it was crazy. Oh that my god, that cool. was crazy. That was amazing. I uh, like the again, like during the week, I saw that car. I'm like, what the hell? Like, how did you? I, I commented on the on the JD Motorsports page. I'm like, how did this happen? And how did I, did I not know about it? And throughout <laughs> the weekend, they saw me and they recognized me. Those same people, like the sponsor and whatnot. I got the contact card from that guy. He and he was like, hey. We saw your post. We caught. We saw your post. We we uh, followed you and everything. We like and we just wanted to. Say we appreciated it, and that was the coolest thing ever. Sweet. Was this on Instagram? Yeah, it was on Instagram, and now we got the guy's contact info, so we, I can start passing that out to, to the um, FIU motorsport motorsport team. So I got that connection again. So that, that's good. Just getting numbers. Just getting numbers. I've met a lot of people. It's been a long week. <laughs> sure, it has. Yeah, that's what it felt like at the end of Indy. Just like uh, I need some time to just uh, oh, man. collect collect my thoughts. That, that was today. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. last day, I just been, yeah, yeah, I just been sleeping. And to add on top of that, we got to move out of a place. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah and drive, home. drive home. <laughs> and then oh, my drive man. home was filled with tornadoes. Yeah, <laughs> I hit one too. It was, it was such a bad drive. I hit one too. I know it. I was yeah, that was during the like, road you were, Donald. That was yeah, during like monsoon were. time. Around the country, um, I want to go back to the whole Kyle Busch thing, his legacy. Okay. I think this really defines his 2015 championship. Now, I really do. What if I, yeah, that? yeah. Mm. After he broke his legs, he kind of <laughs> break your legs. <laughs> <laughs> go break a leg. I don't. I, I, he won it the right I, way this time. Yeah, yeah, he did. I, I, the 2015 one for for the last four years or so, I have not like. Counted him as a champion. I know other people have, but me among among many, see the 2015 one is just kind of like it was kind of given to him. Because and, and it's not just for him, but it's for a lot of people. I don't like the whole, oh, you got injured. It's okay. We'll give you a pass. I think if you get injured, it's it's not again. It might not be your fault, but it's just how things turn out. I, I don't think they do. How did that all work? Because it sounded 
like he ran less races and had less opportunity for points. Correct me if I'm wrong. He, yeah, he, he he ran less races, but he still got. But he, he the thing was that he won. To run for the he, he, that that was the point where um the, the by that time they announced the playoff system where if you win you're in the playoffs, and he'd won a race. But once he came back into the into the NASCAR, okay. and from there on he gained enough points. To, he did everything right. He he followed the rules and whatnot. But still, I didn't I didn't like the way the waiver rules. It's it's not just for him. It's for anyone who gets injured. Tony Stewart too. I know for the both the, for both years it helped out and gave us a lot more to talk about, but. Again, it's like it, it's like if you get injured, it's not. Re- it's that's that's just what happens. And I, it's kind of like a pity thing. Like oh, like oh, here, it's kind of like a pity. Oh, we feel bad for you. Here, take this now. And now you've gotten this championship. We feel bad for you, and here's the championship because we feel so bad for you. It's, it's kind of like that. Uh, was it Johnny Sauter's penalty at Iowa where they they took him out of the next race, but then they said, "Hey, you can still run for the championship." Yeah, they yeah. gave him a waiver. Yeah. yeah. Same deal, different situation, but yeah. So if somebody misses one race because of an injury, you guys think they should not be eligible for the playoffs? I don't know, but one, uh, one race I'm okay with. Uh, I'm okay with, but like a whole, like half the season. Yeah, eleven races have, have, is that's, a lot. That's pushing yeah. it. That is very much pushing it. Because like by the, by the time it's like, well, we can kind of figure out. We can kind of do the math and be like, well, if you want to really start, if you want to just enter by like July. You would you might be able to gain enough points if you if you finish top five or, and win enough races to like win the playoffs this year with switching yeah. the points. He still yeah. made it to the final four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Kyle Busch said in an interview with either PRN or or Dale Junior Download that went up live tonight that like even if he didn't win any more championships after 2015, he still personally feels like. That was a like solid championship for him, you know. Like it wasn't fifteen or nine, fifteen or this year. Fifteen, like even he said, even if he hadn't won this year's championship or anything else in the future, he he still would have been like okay with that. Right. Okay. From what, from what I've heard, I don't. I, I think he's switching up what he's been saying. He's. I've heard him say many times before. He doesn't want just one championship. Like he. I've heard, yeah, I've heard yeah. Him, I've, I've heard him say like, the opposite. The opposite thing over the last few years. I know. Like if I, something happened to him after 2015, like he would be happy with. But like you know, he's never satisfied. Of course, <laughs> he's he's wanting like five championships. <laughs> as long he, as it's not seven. He said. Okay. He says. He said so. He's like, I, I know, I, I, I've, se- I've been in the sport long enough. I've, I've seen the like seven or I, when I first got into the cup, I was like, yeah, eight championships, let's go. But uh, n- now he's thinking a little more realistically. He wouldn't have so, any hair left after eight championships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's kind of he's kind of settling with he's kind of settling with five as the goal, and he'd really love to have like more all time wins and stuff like that. Oh. Mm. He might get there too. Well, yeah, I'd love to see him do an Indy 500 run, like we were talking so about. So would I. I would I'd love yeah. to see both the Bush, Bush brothers do it the same. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> it would. Yeah, it'd be cool, but I don't. I don't. I like think, how we all pause and leave. And leave each other I don't think. Out. That was great. I don't. I don't know if Kurt would do it again. I don't I know think if so. Kurt would get it. I, well, really? I think he might want to, but I don't know if he'd get a chance again. I thought that was I think part of his contract that he would get the opportunity if he wanted to. Just whenever he wants. Well, I thought when he re-signed with uh, Ganassi with Ganassi this year, that was one of the things he said when he was negotiating was that he wanted to run. Oh, so the, yeah, they might. I have both brothers then. Yeah, I thought that that I thought it was Kurt that had that in his contract. I thought it was too. Ganassi's pretty good with yeah. contract uh, clauses. Yeah. Larson won to run Chili Bowl and all this other dangerous stuff. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. I think it's good. I don't think it's. Yeah, it actually. They, they said, like, it, it kind of, Ganassi's like, yeah, it kind of does more for them than yeah. if, if they, I restricted them from doing all that. Yeah, it spreads out the fan base and gets new fans, and mm-hmm. makes connections. For both sports, it's good. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
And I so want that to put... that monster energy car again. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So that, that puts a wrap on 2019 season. And that also puts a wrap on the 2010s decade of NASCAR. You're right. I yep. was there for the and, first and for the last. I was happy about that. McMurray and, won Daytona and Bush won this weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So um a interesting fact I saw this afternoon is that this is this is the first decade in the entire history of the sanctioning body that there has not been a fatality. Really? Yeah. Last fatality was Dale Earnhardt. Oh one, oh, yeah. So twenty ten to twenty nineteen, or twenty ten to twenty nineteen. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a successful good for them. Good ten for years of, of no no fatalities, but there's been you know several close calls. But, Very close calls. Yeah. Yeah. I think you think of like Austin Dillon, Coke Zero, four hundred. That was probably the scariest one I can think of. Also, mm-hmm. uh, David Rudiman practice at texas or qualifying was, at texas good my favorite, my favorite moment that was my favorite favorite moment for the car of tomorrow and larry max said it best was if anyone had any questions or doubts yeah it was, well, there's yeah. your answer right everyone there. says how much they hate that car and i love that car yep. just because it saved so many lives like we we needed to have that car for that many years Sorry, oh, <laughs> sorry it's, that it's this one, but there's a car tomorrow for you. <laughs> that, that, that's the one thing I can accept about about the Cowboys fans that and that mo- most, if not, and I'm hoping it's all. It's probably just most of his fan base is that, and and I've met a lot of them this weekend, which I can just kind of push off to the side is that <laughs> they don't like the driver or anything else. It's just that he's M and M's. That's it. They don't that's care it? about. Yeah. They don't even know the name of the driver. Most of these really? people. Most of these people. What? It's just that it's M and M's. And I'm like, wonder. okay, that makes me feel better. It's mostly kids too. And I'm like, that's, okay, I, I feel a little better about that. Actually. That's the only way he gets kid fans. Oh, candy. <laughs> yeah, he holds like up the, the candy M&Ms candy. at Victory Lane instead of. Yeah, to be honest, I love. I still love the 18 car. Mm. I've always loved the 18 car at Joe Gibbs. I love the and I love the M and M's cars. I, like I just hated it yeah. that they put these two things I love together <laughs> with somebody I just can't get behind. It hurts me. <laughs> I want to see this. I want to see that number and that pain scheme in good hands again. It yeah, it pains me. Like I miss Ken Schrader and Elliot Sadler. And I saw Ken Schrader. I saw Ken Schrader. You saw Ken Schrader? I look. God, I was I was really hoping to see that guy. I was I saw him. I'm like yes. He's a party animal. I was excited. I, was, <laughs> I went out to him and the, and I really wanted to ask him if he was going to be on the, the uh, Dale Jr. download this year. He said he couldn't do it. He was supposed to. He couldn't do it this year. He's going to do it next year. And I I'm hope like, so. Okay. Yeah. Great. Got the hot Give take. Me. Yeah, because Heard it here first. Yeah, because <laughs> several times in several episodes this year, Dale's. Yeah, given so references want, yeah. to Ken Jim. Trader's wild shenanigans. Oh yeah. So it'd be it'd be great to hear from the source. Yeah. <laughs> I can't can't wait for him to be on that show. I wanted to do a thumb war with him. A thumb <laughs> war? What? <laughs> what? Do you know uh, why? No. No. Why? I haven't heard this. No, you haven't. Do you know the reason? No. Are you about to tell us the reason? Right here. Tell us or what? It's... He's missing half his thumb. Oh, is he cut it off? Yeah. What? Really? What? Yeah. He. Did... Um, he was working on an engine. He lost most, uh, if not if not all of it, he lost most of his thumb. Ooh, really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay. And you I wouldn't imagine. beat him it's up. What, yeah, you, you want to have thumb exactly war with him? <laughs> I mean, Ken, <laughs> Ken Trader. Ken Trader seems like the kind of guy that has really strong thumbs. Yeah. Dirt, yeah. Hard nosed dirt razor from Missouri. It's, it's a cool story too. Like he has, an, he has a really badass injury, and it's from working on an engine. That's just the coolest that's driver, the, like that's driver injury. Perfect yeah. way for your thumb to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, an engine fell on it. <laughs> I, I, I think like the, some, some, something about it getting, getting cut. I, that's one. That's one of the things I wanted to hear on, on the uh, Dale Jr. download was how he, exactly how it happened. I'm sure they'll talk about it. I'm so uh, interested. I'm still getting through the last episode of uh, this year. I haven't really finished it yet. I haven't started it yet. I, I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's Kyle Busch interview. Yeah, I know. You know they, 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 yeah. He gets that one out of the way at the beginning. If that makes you feel any better, you can kind of That's skip good. ahead. What, what, okay, one of the things that made me hate when they did the episode earlier this year, he said that he wanted like, everything that I hate about him, he, they talked about, and he wanted to teach the exact thing that in the opening it, I wanted 
knows okay to lose. Not stand. I guess. It's not okay to lose. It's not, it's not okay to lose. I'm like, I'm like what is? What do you? Mean? Kyle <laughs> Bush. Kyle. Like, he and he's a regular human being, but then sometimes, like, he's like a, a literal Ricky Bobby, but like without all the funniness. <laughs> He's really just the yeah, if you ain't first or last mentality. You know, yeah. and got like the stereoty- stereotypical racing wife with the stereotypical racing son. <laughs> got all their sponsors at the table. <laughs> you know, talk, I'm, I, I, I got their own I, reality I like show. Guys, so I don't know how inappropriate it is. I don't, but I don't like the guy, so I don't really care. I, I heard the rumor, rumor about him, him and Samantha. Yeah, yeah I heard that too. Yeah, f- fidelity rumors. Is that what it? Is that what that is? From somewhere yeah. in the paddock. Yeah. And then everyone kind of just assumed it. Hush, hush. Now. But we'll know more in a month or two. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I'm sure that will unfold. Maybe it won't. Yeah, maybe it won't. It'll stay hushed. Do you want to get them? Because I'm hoping we can get off the Kyle subject. We do you want to go on to uh, F1? Yeah, it's like I'm always yeah. like feeling the rage. So yeah, na- looking forward to NASCAR in 2020. Let's close this out with Formula One, and then we can talk a little bit about uh, off-season plans for the, the Get Bump podcast, possibly. Okay. Formula One Formula. and Olagos. I said this uh, before we even got recorded. Uh, um, Brazil is one of the best F1 tracks on the on the uh, schedule. And uh, to say what Ryan, uh, I, I don't have the word, but to say what what Ryan was saying earlier in the uh, group chat, it, it's the best F1 tracks are the ones that aren't made for F1. The, the ones that aren't made for F1. Yeah, that are not made for F1. Yeah. For F1. Like, right. like for, yeah. The ones that um, just, just by happenstance, they yeah. Yeah, yeah. decide to drive that. Tolkien mm-hmm. drums or something. Yeah, they have, like, something a like that. Developer that makes all the new tracks, and they're all boring. They're all the same track. Yeah. That's that's the point. Yeah, I agree with you. I like the uh, we- the weather at Brazil too. I-, I love it when it rains. It makes the racing so much better. Did that so much more- rain? I only no, it did not. It, the pra- the practice did though. Practice did okay. Yeah. How great would it would would have been if the race started out with in the rain, having all that yeah. go on, and then at the end they start we started getting all those cautions. That would have made the racing better but um all right so uh max for seven wins and hamilton it's the penalty yeah we got gasly first career podium and carl science first career podium mclaren's first podium since 2014 goodness yeah is that the uh, that was the statement oh how yeah, the mighty yeah. have fallen right yeah. yeah definitely no mercedes on the podium yay <laughs> yeah, mercedes. Yeah, we got the there. uh Really wanted um, Red Bull to one two and then have Toro Rosso in third. I really yeah. wanted to see three Red Bull cars on the podium. Yeah, that would have been a sight. That would have been. For, that would have been. Feel for Alvin. It sucks for him. Yeah, that made me so mad. I like. I like stood up when that happened. I don't like. <laughs> I don't get excited very often when I'm watching stuff, but like, I like stood up and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was so upset. So this all started. So I I was watching a little bit of it, and then I missed all of the big, the big the stuff story. that happened. I uh, I just I just remember reading that the two Ferrari drivers got into each other. Is that yep, correct? That's the big, that's the other big thing. So we had that, that's where it all Mercedes, started. We had Mercedes get into each other at a, one of the tracks in 2016, and that was a big story from like Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton. And it's the first time we've seen them in a long time. And then we had the same thing from Red Bull, uh, I think last year or the year before, with uh, Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen. Mm-hmm. And they got the, and, and those two, since they're such good friends, got past that pretty quickly. Yeah, I remember. I remember year, seeing that in the uh, yeah. Drive to Survive documentary. Yeah. About the, the Red Bull guys. Yesterday we got the Ferrari collision. So. They really just yeah. shot themselves in their foot and then the other foot at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From what it looked from what it looked like, Vettel much like his season messed up just a little bit and moved uh, and moved um he was going for a pass, he moved uh to the left a little bit into uh just Leclerc's a line. Too aggressive, I think. Yeah, and there was contact and Leclerc uh, immediately had a tire puncture and went out of the race and then Vettel 
uh, about two or three seconds later had, had a tire puncture one out of the race too. So yeah, just that was exciting. My mom watched it and she was like, she was just watching that one part and she's like, well, that was dumb. I don't know <laughs> <what> it was. <laughs> yeah. <Great>. <laughs> So it was an exciting yeah. finish, and I'm still a little mad that uh, Brazil is, isn't the uh, finale anymore. But I mean, uh, they still put on, put on a good show, and I'm so happy they about have that. One more race left, right? Yeah, Ab- um, Abu Dhabi, Abu which, Dhabi. Is, oh. one, which is one of the tracks that was built for an F1 race, and yeah. as big as an airport, and <laughs> not yeah. That is but, the finale, though. Yeah, that's the finale. It, yeah. the, the one cool thing about well, there's many cool things about Abu Dhabi. I will say that the, the track looks beautiful, but it just does not put on good racing. One of the cool things is that the um, track and like the, the, to get onto the track, uh, like the track entrance, I guess is what you call it. There's a tunnel, and it's very narrow. And I'm waiting, waiting for someone to do this. No one's hit the wall yet, but it's 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 about a car width wide, a tunnel just to get on just to get onto the track, like out of it road. Really? And no one's messed up yet. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll see. You'll see on the broadcast. But um, you got the buildings in the background that, that look amazing. It, it, you got the uh, port, which looks a lot like Monaco, and it's at night. And I love night racing. And when and this is one like the two or three F one races that that happen at night. So I wish they'd have more more night racing during the season. So if it's nighttime in Abu Dhabi, it'll be like it'll be a reasonable hour for us to watch, right? I just. I just record it each time. Um, right. I, I I assume, yeah, I, I assume it would be decent enough time. Yeah, I, I have guess the... recorded on Hulu too, so I watch them every once in a while if I don't have anything else to do. Yeah, but I suppose I'll watch that one since we don't have anything else to watch. Unfortunately, it's not. It's a uh, not this weekend. Next weekend, no, and I'll not... be. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a uh, like like if one likes. To do it's a two week gap. I, I, I get why it's a two week gap because it's mm-hmm. it's a it's a round the world a thing and country, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I get that. But still, it's I had the logistics. Gotta wait, must no, be a nightmare yeah. for that sport. They've, they've got so many videos about that, I, and I'm very interested in that. I I, I would love to, to get to have a job and be a part of the of, of think, just logistics. Why do you think Ferrari, Why do you think Ferrari teams up with UPS? <laughs> <laughs> when NASCAR went to Australia the one time. Someone shipped one of their crew members in no. a box yeah. with a car. Yeah, we heard about that. Yeah, I wonder how often make... that happens in Formula. That's so cool. <laughs> to make sure it's okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. there. Then they went to <laughs> Motegi. Yep. I would like to see an NASCAR race on that um, in the Lagos track. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I, not it doesn't have to be every year, but I do want them to start going to start. Go, uh, doing for, foreign races again. Yeah, like one, one, one interna- like one international, one international for every like three, every th- four, how about four? Because we do the World Cup every four years, uh, every four years. How about one international race every four years? It would be an exhibition. Yeah, every four years, like in it could be like an all, it could be like an all, an all star thing. It could give away like a million bucks to the winner. Ooh, I mean, well, I would leave that to the all star race. But... I mean, how, what else would make would, would, what would give them an incentive, incentive to want to go? Because got because um, teams like like Levine Family Racing and for, and not I know Ferrero is gone, but like the small teams are not going to want to go to the to like. Right. Well, I don't, I don't think all the small did all the small teams go to Motegi in Australia during those times. Probably not. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. they're not going to go. They're not going to again. Go. I, I'd want I'd want to I'd want to like, give them a reason to, to like. Oh yeah. Yeah, make it like some sort of affordable. I'm not, I, I I'm, not like, one, um, I'm not the one passing the money around though, so I can't say. Okay. I feel like a Montreal race would be kind of cool too, because that would kind yeah. of technically I'd count. Like to yeah. See him in yeah, too too close to not. I know do it's too it. close. But I know it's too no, close. No, I'm saying it's, it's no, I'm like, saying it's, it's too reasonable. close not to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Or even like a Mexico location, maybe. Yeah. 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 Me- Mexico is a road, there. of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, we weren't able to talk about it because we missed a few, uh, uh, I think a week or two. Um, but Brandon, did you want to mention about, uh, Nashville or do you want to talk about there in the off season? Uh, we, we, we can kind of say that for the off season, I guess. I hate to keep pushing it back, but yeah, cause, uh, I'll, I'll say my homestead stuff for the off season too. How about that? Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. I posted a whole video, uh, about it on the channel. Uh, just 
footage from the weekend and uh matt was extremely nice uh just helping me yeah, out you. you know and uh um, yeah just re really nice guy to walk around the track with you know he just really knowledgeable been doing it for a long time and he just lives breathes and just loves every part of it and it's just privilege to be there with him so and he's also a uh track cheeseburger connoisseur <laughs> <laughs> he, he really knows his track track cheeseburgers he didn't put anything on it really yeah hmm. that that that's the way you do it when you're uh, on the job. You just don't worry about the condiments. Hmm. Okay. Nashville Fairgrounds has some good cheeseburger. Do they? Yeah, some good quality meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, good quality Na Nashville Nashville meat. So good Nashville meat. <laughs> we are now officially in the off season, gentlemen, oh. and uh, so. That means nine. One thing that that means ninety days until the sixty second annual Daytona five hundred. Eighty three days till the clash, and even less days until the roar before the twenty four and the twenty four hours of Daytona. The, the, Which the, is, the logistics for me just to get there this year is going to be hard. It's going to be tight for me to get. Like I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to work it. I'm really going to try to. It's going to be hard for me to do though. If I wanted to attend this, is there is it possible that I could crash on your floor? <laughs> so if you were to attend this, I am not going to be at my place because again, it's five hours away. So there's no reason uh, for me to stay at my place and go yeah. five hours. Yeah. If you want to crash with me, I am sleeping in a car. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll just choose <laughs> my own car. Wow. I do. I, I usually just sleep in my car. <laughs> Wow. Seems legit. Okay. That's I don't, don't need a whole. I don't need a whole lot of sleep at this point in my life. I get like maybe oh. four, like four or five hours oh for the roll. Oh my god! Seven hours of sleep last night, and I was dying today. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, have you ever pulled an all nighter? Yeah, I've done all nighters. Okay, cool. It just takes a lot of Red Bull and. <laughs> and you love your Red Bull, Wes. I do love Red Bull. The cranberry? Oh my gosh, Red Bull cranberry is the best thing ever. Mix it with a little apple juice too. Ooh, Ooh. so good, so good. Bye. So off, we, we we do have a lot of off season ideas, uh, including talking about uh, intern experiences and stuff. We also want to do individual topics that uh, include but are not limited to. Uh, what did we say we were gonna do? <laughs> A lot uh, of stuff. I can, uh, I can pull it up right now. Give me yes, a second. Yeah, we yeah, we pull it up. There's a lot of them. Because I, I, I should have put some of my stuff on it, too. And I want you guys to put your stuff on it, too, so we actually have, like, stuff to do. Because yeah, I'm going to be bored. Oh, we, we got a really good OK Boomer about NASCAR. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, my, that was what, my one big idea, is, like, boomers and NASCAR. And, like, why... Why they say, oh, the sport ain't the same since Dale Earnhardt died. We need and, real men in the sport yeah, well, now. Well, it ain't, it ain't real NASCAR anymore. There ain't no real men. It's a oh. bunch of daddies, boys. Get them yoders out of there. Ugh. They took all the, the skill away from it. It ain't, it ain't what it used to I tell you, NASCAR ain't what it used to be. It's better. And, yeah, I like, <laughs> if, anything, if, if, anything, if anything, it is enhanced <laughs> since... Then, oh yeah, yeah, trivia is on the trivia list. I like, I like that one. <laughs> I love that one. Ideal point system would be interesting. Yeah, I just added that one too. What do you we mean? We could go over it? ideal schedules too. I know, a I know, Ryan has that planned out a lot. Yeah, he he has a whole list of them. Ryan's got like spreadsheets and spreadsheets of just stuff that he's thought of. Yeah, I'm sure he would have a lot to say right now. Oh yeah. And Wes's idea was one of the first ones, the high school the karting high school league. Karting league. I, still, I stand by that, yeah. too. Yeah, for, for STEM. Yeah. Because high, high schools could have karting teams similar yep. to... And uh, like every, every high school across the country has a track, you know? Like, yeah. It might not be perfect, but like it would work. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. We'll get into that someday. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we're uh, like a predictions for 2020 kind of video, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Maybe the new iRacing build, adding more uh, 
physics da uh, crash damage and uh, the new tire model that they put in last update and things like that. Uh, looking about our first, we're talking about our first race experiences, how we got into racing. Uh, yep. And uh, we'll have a lot more, I'm sure we'll add. We could talk about NASCAR conspiracy conspiracies. Since and these we talked NASCAR about today. conspiracies. <laughs> we talked about that today. But yeah, a lot to look forward to. And it won't be too long before we'll be right back at the Great American Race. So really enjoyed this year. I'm glad for the short amount of episodes we've got in on the tail end of the year, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, still getting our feet wet with this. And hopefully uh, I'll be in an, envir in an environment where I have the right internet capabilities where I, we can go live with this sucker yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, have sure. chat, have uh, chats with the audience and stuff and have moderators and such. So, um, big plans. Yeah. Big plans, big plans and small, small time to do so. So yeah. we'll, we'll have fun with it. So it that, goes. yep, that, that should do it for this episode. So I hate it, but congratulations to Kyle Bush 2019. Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. Congrats, also, Bush. Tyler Reddick, Xfinity Series champion. Matt Crafton, Travis. Gander Outdoors Truck Series champion. So, I uh, hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back whenever we feel like it for an off-season episode. <laughs> and uh, have a great night, guys. Or morning or afternoon. It and we'll talk to you another here. time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God, it is. Wow. Yeah. So.